you like if you still want me. I don't know. You I don't know. We'd call you. He's the greatest <laughs> ever, uh, you know, that's it. Uh, so uh, Chris Evans is here. Uh, philosopher Alan de Botton is here. This is a bit of a weird show tonight. You are surrounded by, enveloped by an umpire band. <laughs> yep. Um, uh, and uh, yeah, Mark, how would you describe the scene as you look beyond uh, philosopher Alan de Botton's shoulders? Richard, there are no words. All I can <laughs> see is brass instruments, lederhosen. Yeah. Philosopher Alan de Botton <laughs> and Rachel Hodges. <laughs> um, it's, it's like some crazy dream. <laughs> it is. This whole thing. <laughs> they are in Lederhosen. Uh, Chris Evans, you, you kindly mentioned our show tonight on your show on Radio 2, uh, and these guys were on your show. Yeah, these guys came on our show, and they were so good. And I know, you know, what we used to do in the old days is if we saw something in the street, you know, I would literally take them onto the TV that night, whoever it was, whatever they may be doing. And I just got the same vibe about tonight. And so I said to the guys, you know, you've been on one show. How do you fancy doubling up? Do you, come, do you want to come on Richard's show? And then I, then I texted you and you said that would be swell. You and texted me mid-show, which surprised me. Well, I had to do that because I, I didn't want to keep the boys hanging around. Oh, I thought it was and possible. one of them had to play trumpet for the Queen at midnight. And that's not, that's not a lie. That's true. At midnight tonight? Yes. You've got to go. No, no, I can't. I've got a deck. You dropped... <laughs> wow. You dropped the Queen. Wow. Oh, that's great. Oh, I love that. Describing... He described playing for the Queen as a gig. <laughs> God, oh, that gig. Well, it, it, technically, uh, it is, you know, you by royal appointment. Uh, you can be doctor that, maybe. No, no. You're a hero. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, I believe you're going to play... Uh, is it Britney Spears Toxic? Yeah. OK. Everyone want to hear Britney Spears Toxic? Yeah. Um, pa, pa. Are they called the Umpar Band? Umpar Brass. Okay, here, ladies and gentlemen, are Umpar Brass. <laughs> <laughs> so good I thought you'd I thought they not that your house needs anything but if uh, it's got one thing missing it's an umpire brass yeah, yeah, right. pop cover band it's a good job that we've got one or two of my neighbours here oh this is, this is worth every neighbourhood complaint <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is just tell them uh, it's your new doorbell if they're oh, <laughs> this is so good I, uh, <laughs> Uh, umpire Brass, I don't suppose you've ever been reviewed by a philosopher before. Um, Alan de Botton, what did you think to uh, Umpire Brass? I loved it. I was left um, breathless. And, uh, no, it was fantastic. I mean, there was a lot of body movement, which, which listeners won't have seen, but they were... Uh, as some of those... Uh, some of those... Uh, yeah, there was a lot of jumping and... A lot of jumping. Um, a lot, a lot of, jumping. of jumping. It was fantastic, guys. Thank you. That was brilliant. Great. And they Thank really you. are Lady Hose and Clad. It is yes. true. Yes. Thank you, guys. So nice to see you. Thank you for coming down tonight. This is ace. This is like the best night of my life. <laughs> Apart from your Apart wedding. Apart from my night. wedding. Yes. Apart from my wedding. Well done. Yeah. It's okay. I'm just here to support you. <laughs> yeah, you <are>. Anyway, <laughs> I can. your wife. Yeah. yeah. You keep digging me out of the odd hole tonight. <laughs> uh, Chris, a couple more questions to you. Um, uh, I'm